From the swamp, a little K pop singer, Sense of Time skin, Ragnarok skin, a new ranked mode with a new star drop, a new solo mode, new hypercharges, and more. Welcome to Brawl Talk. Now, what's something everyone loves? Mm. Exactly, mosquitoes. Angelo is the first new brawler in this update, joining Willow's trio. This brawler lives in a swampy love tunnel at Star Park and loves gossiping about brawlers to make them fight each other. Angelo is a sharp shooter and the longer you hold the aim, the stronger the attacks get. Besides that, Angelo can also hover over water, like a mosquito. With the super, Angelo summons a part of the swamp and it damages all the enemies inside. It also makes Angelo's own attack more powerful by adding poison to the arrows that deal damage over time. Angelo is an epic brawler and comes with a 29 gem skin called Elf Angelo, which makes the brawler even more lovely. Now someone who is a bit more pleasant to listen to. Melody is a mythic brawler and the second of the update, arriving in late March. She's a popular karaoke singer at Star Park and has some mood swings. Sometimes she's sweet and delicate as a rose, and sometimes harsh as its thorns. She's an assassin that has a long-range attack that deals moderate damage. But what makes her strong is that every time she hits a target, she gets a musical note around her. These musical notes keep spinning around her and deal damage on contact. She can have up to three musical notes around her, and they will gradually disappear after some time. Once she charges her super, she gets three dashes that must be used during the same super activation. And you can't recharge your super unless you use all three dashes first. The idea is pretty much to get your musical notes around you and then dash onto the enemy. Melody is coming with a Norse themed skin called Sif Melody, and we'll get back to this theme later in this video. Six new hypercharges for Cordelius. He now slows whoever is in the Shadow Realm with him. Buzz can keep using his super while his hypercharge is active. El Primo now has a bigger area of impact and drags people towards him instead of pushing them away. Belle super now homes in on her target. Sprout's walls now deal damage if you get too close. And Bibi's bubble gun now splits into two if it hits a target. And the hypercharge unleashed event is back, but now it's only in showdown. And both your super and hypercharge will charge faster. It's still the same deal. Complete the quest of the event and you get a free random hypercharge. The event will be live right after the update drops, but only for a few days. So you gotta be quick. The next season is coming in March and it's called Sands of Time. And it arrives with the Sands of Time skins. Shelly Dancer attacks with her lamp and is the skin of the Brawl Pass with two color variations. Shelly Dancer Iris and Shelly Dancer Dahlia. Dynasty Mike, he becomes a dirty wealthy jammer with his skin. He literally throws gems at his enemies. And Thief Edgar is ready to take a bit of those gems from Mike. Sargini, the name says it all. And lastly, Desert Scorpion Chuck being a 299 gem skin with all the special pins, profile pictures, sprays and a custom voice and takedown VFX. Line friends are getting another pack of skins. Fangirl Colette becomes Line Friends Connie. Rocket Brown mixes Brock with their classic bear called Brown. And Gus gets Sally's quirky vibes with Balloon Sally. More godly skins, but this time from a different mythology. They are the Ragnarok skins, which will be the Norse-inspired theme of the season in April. Fenrir Buzz from Maintaining Order the Pool, now spreading chaos at Star Park. He's also the Brawl Pass skin with two color variations, Elder Fenrir Buzz and Skuga Fenrir Buzz. Lucky Chester is just a perfect fit for this character. Cordelius becomes the one-eyed all father with Odin Cordelius. Scotty Jesse now becomes ingenious in the art of hunting. And Melody gets a 29 gem skin inspired by the goddess Sif. And lastly, Thor Bibi, 
the Goddess of Thunder, and she's a 299 gem skin, getting all the assets and a special takedown effect. Mecha skins are back, and we'll have two new ones in this update. Mecha Leon, with the whole 299 gem treatment, and also two color variations, Shadow Mecha Leon and Radiant Mecha Leon. And another winner from Colt Supercell May campaign, Mecha Colt. Shout out to PJ the Creator for being the most voted Mecha Colt skin in the community. And it also comes with two color variations, Paragon Mecha Colt and Renegade Mecha Colt. And more random skins. Pitcher Fang with one extra color variation. Squeaky Note, a 29 gem skin for Squeak. And Poop Spike, literally our sh** skin ever. And the last one, Primo Shark. Wait, is that what I think it is? In this update, we are also releasing a new solo mode called Trophy Escape. It's 10 players against each other, just like Showdown. However, the way to win trophies in this mode is by collecting them during the match, either by eliminating players and bots, or by being the last player standing. Once 5 players are eliminated, portals will be activated in the map, and you'll be able to escape from the battle with whatever number of trophies you have with you. But this portal doesn't work immediately. It activates as soon as you step in, but you have to wait a bit until you get teleported safely out of the match. If you get defeated, you will lose trophies, even if you have collected a lot of them. So, don't die. And if you defeat a brawler, you can collect all the trophies they were carrying. And there are no poison clouds because some portals could be at the edge of the maps. If nobody gets extracted until the time runs out, then everybody loses. So make sure you get to that portal. Trophy Escape will be available as soon as the Sands of Time season begins. Power League is dead. And Ranked is alive! Ranked is the new competitive mode replacing Power League and it should be more rewarding, more fun and more fair. For starters, you can only select brawlers with power level 9 or above, so it should already help with a lot of the bad randoms. Now, from bronze to gold, the matches will be a best of one and no banning phase, pretty much like the Mega Pig. That should make it a lot friendlier for casuals to start playing this mode. From Diamond to Masters, we go back to the format you are used to. Best of 3 with the ban phase. You can only upgrade to Diamond if you have at least 12 Brawlers with power level 9 or above. And speaking of ranks, just look how beautiful they are. We have removed the solo and team queues, so now you can play solo, as a duo or in a team of 3. And if you end up playing solo against the team, then matchmaking will adapt to make the match more balanced. And, for more clarity, you can actually now see how many points you've gained or lost after a match. Now, this might be a bit controversial, but your rank will be reset at every season start. But we will give you a boost at every new season, so you can just get to where you were quickly. You only get this boost if you have played ranked in the previous season. And by the way, ranked seasons are now only one month long. With the new ranked, there will be a quite impactful change to the gameplay. We are also adding modifiers. I know. The first reaction is, but this is a competitive mode! Correct. So the only modifiers we'll have on ranked are the ones which affect both things equally. So it's up to you to adapt your strategy to whatever modifier and map gets randomly picked. The modifiers we'll have are Quickfire. When an attack hits the target, you reload an ammo. Time detonation. Progressively destroys the environment. Big friend. All brawlers have their health points equal to the highest HP brawler in the team. Barb ammo. All damage leaves a dot, kinda like Byron. And sick bits. All brawlers are immune to all forms of crowd control, such as slow and stun. So it's up to you to adapt your strategy to whatever modifier and map that gets randomly picked. We want to have around 3 modifiers per season, so you don't have to relearn everything all the time. We all had the same reaction we are having now but we ask you to trust us with this change. It should be more fun and make the game mode fresher for longer. Let's see how the next few seasons go. We'll be following the feedback we see on social media and the data we get from the game. If it sucks, we'll be ready to change it. And how about the rewards? Well, they are star drops. <laughs> Listen first, okay? We'll have a new type of star drop called ranked star drop. In this ranked star drop, you'll be able to collect all the previous Power League season cosmetic assets or blink. There are only cosmetic rewards in the ranked star drop. And if you've been active in the previous Power League and collected all the cosmetics and skins, you'll get blink instead. And the skins that were exclusive in previous seasons will get recolored versions and will be added to these star drops in the future as well. We'll also have a skin of the season that you can only find from ranked star drops at a higher drop rate. And if you find it, you get it for free. 
no more unlocking purchase options. Every skin that gets added to rank star drops will remain there forever. And you can only get these skins by playing the rank mode. So, besides the ranked star drops, we also have some legendary star drops there. The first one starting at diamond. And remember that now the seasons are one month long, so all the rewards you've seen here can be collected again every month. And we have a new type of cosmetic reward for your battle card. It'll be applied automatically once you reach a new rank. Every rank has three variations, and they will get an extra upgrade for each time you reach the same rank again in a different season. If you don't want to show your rank, you can also deactivate it on your battle card screen. The report button has finally been upgraded and it's ready to take action on toxic players. Every player will have a reputation meter, and if you get to a red card, you get suspended from playing the rank mode. You can regain your reputation by just playing like a decent human being. When reporting, you have three options. Griefing, cheating, and just bad randoms. There's also an explanation of what each of these options mean. And you only have 10 reports a day. This is to prevent players from over-reporting and be more mindful about who they report. So thank you for making the game better. And remember, the first ranked season will start with the Sands of Time season. 